Well, these are the assembly instructions for my birthday cake in slices. So I have my cream pieces that are going to be the top of the box or the top of the cake in this case. And I have the white pieces which are, which are going to fit inside or the bottom of the box. And then I have these pink pieces that are the icing for my box. So I'm going to start with this, the assembly of the top of my box. I'm going to start by folding down the score lines for the top of my box. So I've got my main piece and then I have my side piece. On my tab, one side has a little tiny wedge cut out of it and the other one has a larger wedge. So this large wedge actually goes next to the point on the piece of my slice. I'm going to put glue on the underside of that tab. And I'm just going to glue it down I want the cut edge of my piece to be against the score line of my tab. Then I'm going to put glue on all these little tabs that look like teeth and I'm going to tuck them under that curved edge. I want that, that cut line of my curved edge to be right up against the score line on the wall of my piece. So all of those small tabs are adhered to that piece. I'm going to put glue on my tab at the bottom and I'm going to flip my piece over and put glue on the tab that's on the side. And the side piece just fits in on the inside and that bottom flap just gets folded downwards to the bottom. And I'm just going to turn my piece over and just make sure that that glue spread nicely on both the bottom and on that side piece. I'm just using a bone folder. You could use a ruler or something with a nice flat clean edge. So I'm putting glue on that last wedge and I'm just adhering it to the bottom of my box. Okay, so next I have these this pink wedge. So this is meant to look like the icing on the top of my cake. And I'm just folding down on the score lines. So I'm just putting glue all over the underside of the piece, even beyond the score lines on each side. And I'm going to adhere it to the top of my box. And I'm just going to go into my bone folder and spread all that glue on the top and on either side as well. This is the icing for the middle of my cake and the and the back of the cake as well. So I'm going to take this piece, I'm flipping it over, and I'm just putting glue so just along the edge and those two strips. And I'm just going to lay them down on my piece so the top one goes right up against that score line at the top. And the middle one along the middle all stuck down and again I'm going in from the inside and spreading all that glue and then I'm going to put glue all along that back panel of my cake and I'm just wrapping this piece around I'm putting my bone folder in the interior to help make it a little more solid as I wrap this around the edge I didn't want a crisp fold like a score line. I kind of want to just sort of a just be folded around like so on the rest. So basically the mirror image of the other F I did at the beginning. Next, I'm going to grab the white pieces and I'm going to put them together pretty much the same way as I did for the top of the box. I'm just folding down on all the score lines. I'm just putting glue on this tab. Now again, this is the tab that has that sharp angle. Instead of having just a little wedge taken off, it has a large wedge taken off. And that's because of the point of this wedge. So I'm just going to I'm just bringing the cut edge to the score line of that piece. 
So next I'm looking at the inside of my piece. I'm just going to put glue on all those little tabs that look like teeth. And I'm just making sure that they're underneath, that they're underneath my wedge piece. So I need that piece right up against the edge of the back of my piece, or the wedge of my cake. Glue along this tab, so the tab that's at the bottom, and then I'm going to fold this downwards and put glue on this tab. I'm going to close up my piece, making sure that this tab goes underneath the bottom of my box and this tab goes just inside the edge of the side of my box, or the back of my box. So it just it's just going inside the edge of the back of my box. And then I'm just going in with my bone folder and I'm just making sure that all that glue is adhering properly on the bottom. And then I'm flipping it over to the back and making sure that that side adheres as well. And then I'm just going to take my little wedge shape that's left over and I'm just going to adhere it to the bottom of my box. I have another wedge that's larger than the base of my box, so I'm just putting glue on the bottom of my slice, taking this piece and adhering it to the bottom like so. I want the points to match up exactly and the edges to be to follow one another exactly and there's a bit of the base that sticks out there and while that glue is drying I'm just going to put a few little decorations on the top I've got on my little edge piece that I'm just going to put along that curved edge my two little scallop pieces to assemble the strawberry this is the main piece for the strawberry and I've decorated the seeds using a glitter gel pen tawny. I'm just folding down on all those score lines and then I'm putting glue on that one panel that doesn't have any drawings for the seeds so it's blank and I'm just folding it into the adjacent panel so that it closes up my strawberry. Folding over the edges of my strawberry. So this is embroidery floss but you could use any kind of very thin string or some crafting twine. I've got approximately eight inches of it. I have a needle here because it makes things faster and easier for me. And I'm going from the inside and then I'm going to the next one from the outside. And then from the inside for the next one, outside the one after that inside for the next one and then you, and then you want to go back in the original one from the outside and then you can choose either one across the ways choose one across from the original starting point and just finish off there then you're going to find your two tails and you're going to pull on them and what you're trying to do is just minimize the hole in the center. And then you're going to take one of your leaves and you're going to put both of your ends through the center hole of your leaf. And then you're going to take two of those circles that have the circles, both circles in the center. They look like buttons. So I've put glue on one and I'm just gluing them both together. The cutouts in the center are just on top of one another like so. Separate my ends, one end through one hole, one end through the other hole. Then I'm going to make a double knot. And snip off my ends. And I have another strawberry to put on the top of my cake. So now I'm going to make the base for my cake. We have two pieces. One piece is an octagon that has some score lines on each side and you just want to fold down on the score lines. The other one is an octagon as well. These little slits in the corner hang on by just one little thread 
You want to make sure they're free. And then you're going to fold down on all the score lines. And then I have these little tabs on one side of each of these rectangles. And you just want to fold them down like so for all eight. And then I'm putting a little bit of glue just on the tab. So I want the cut line of this rectangle to be against the score line of the tab on this rectangle. So I'm going to do that all the way around, just putting a little bit of glue, joining those sides together. Next I have my octagon that's going to go at the base, at the bottom, and that's just to add a little bit of strength to my piece. I've just used Cricut, white Cricut craft board for this, and I'm just spreading all that glue. And then I just have my cover piece. I'm going to put glue on all those rectangles, and then I'm going to place it inside. And then I'm just going to go in with my bone folder, spread that glue. I'm just going to decorate the tops of my cake now. So I'm just going to glue down my strawberries, my flowers. I'm putting down three flowers per slice. And so I'm just going to glue down my pieces like so. 